Um, okay, so this is a Griffin grip. Um, we have three of them. Two of them will only fit on those wheels over there, and one of them will fit on this one. You'll know because those will, like, won't go down on this one, and this one would be too big on that. So we got these little black things underneath here. It just fits right over the wheel head. Um, I taught you the traditional way of trimming, because if you go to college or another pottery class, it's highly unlikely that you're gonna have Griffin grips. They're a pretty new tool to the ceramic world, and they're about two to $300, so a lot of students don't have them. You can see right here that they're, if I hold on to the wheel head and I hold on to this rim, I can move this just the top, okay? It should move very easily. If it doesn't, you know, let me know so we can, something's not right. So then that moves these things in and out, okay? Then we have these little arms they come in just different sizes and they're organized in that box. So we put those in there. We pick the pot that we're ready to trim. You know your pot's ready to trim if you can't bend the rim anymore. Okay? This one's too dry because I can see that there's no water left in the rim. This one, there's it's leather hard, there's still moisture in there, but I can't bend it. You flip it over like that, you hold the top of the griffin grip and you tighten it up and it's centered. It's pretty awesome. Um, if you have an odd shape that doesn't work with the arms, you can push these all the way out until it makes that clicking sound and then you can flip these over and just use these little pads to um, center your piece. I'm not doing that. Um, be really careful that you don't have extra arms, these attachments laying around, because once you start trimming, they'll get lost in there, and um, we definitely don't want to lose those. Okay, so for this cup, I'm going um, to do two trimming demos. One is going to be a foot, which is very similar to the bowls you just did, and then one will be a tumbler with a flat bottom. So right now, I'm assessing how thick my bottom is, so I know how big of a foot um, I can make. Your tool should be freshly sharpened and ready to go. Remember you're going full speed when you're trimming. The first thing I want to do is just flatten this top out. Often when we cut um, pots off the rib, the, the hump, they might be a little crooked, so you want to make sure that's nice and flat. Remember, I, use, I recommend that you use the beak, this part of the tool, to get rid of like bulk clay, and then use this part for smoothing. You're holding it in the position that you would hold to shave your face or shave your legs, okay? Not flat, not up here, just like a razor. Once I have it flat, I'm gonna go into this side to do the foot. Now, I don't wanna have a too narrow of a foot on a cup, why? Yeah, it wouldn't, it would tip, it wouldn't be very sturdy. So I'm gonna keep that foot pretty wide. I'm just gonna take off a little bit of weight here you don't ever want to trim your pots really more than a fourth of the way down. That's kind of like cheating. If you have to like trim your whole pot, you should have thrown your pot better. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in for the canal. This should all be review from when you guys did bowls. Going into the canal, I'm going down as deep as I think I can go, according to how thick the bottom is. And then again, I need to get the bulk of this clay out. So I'm using the beak of the tool to get that bulk out. Now you should be going full speed so your trimmings just fly away. Also, you know your pot is like perfect for trimming if they're coming off in shoelaces or ribbons like that. I'm just gonna take a little bit more off here. I always try to get as, mo the, as much weight as I can, so I'm making sure I have a 90 degree angle in there. We don't want bottom heavy pots. You also wanna make sure that there's no sharp edges. And then the nice thing about the surfing grip is I can stop, I can pick it up, and I can feel it to know, okay, is it too thick? If it's bottom heavy, I can take more off. At that point, I would put it back on. It is a little bottom heavy, so I'm gonna put it back on. 
Hey, Alex, will you grab... Oh, never mind. You could. I, that red clay will come right off when I do, like, my finishing kind of wipe. Johanna, will you um, get that sponge wet and hand it to me? Do you have a... Alex, will you go get me a metal rib? Thanks. So I'm taking a little bit more weight off here. Make more cups than you need because you will go through the bottom, you'll get S cracks. So you definitely want to have more than what you need. Okay, so then I like to take a damp sponge just for like finishing, smooth all that out. You don't want to see um, where you have trimmed. Um, so the sponge usually helps with that. But if I'm ever hard, having a hard time getting rid of that with the sponge, you can also take a metal rib. I'm not scraping, I'm just kind of like petting it. And it will really smooth that out. Again, you can take it off, feel it, um, make sure it's the right thinness. thickness. All right, so here is the tumbler cup, not the website. Again, I'm making sure I can't bend this, putting it on. If you had a bigger pot, there's bigger arms that you would add, add to or change. You want to make sure. I could probably put bigger arms on this. would be more appropriate, but for time's sake, I'll just do this. I checked the bottom to see how much thickness I need to get rid of. I'm going to use the beak. If you See how I have that like big bump there? If I tried to do it with this, I'd probably start bouncing. Okay? So... By using the beak, it kind of helps cut through that. You can see I'm holding onto this tool really tight. My knuckles are white. Okay. And then I'm going to start smoothing that out. A common mistake when people trim flat bottoms on tumblers is they keep this middle point a little bit taller. And so then when they go to put their cup down, it wobbles. So definitely make sure you check that at the end. And then this is a little bit thick here. So I'm gonna take some weight off. This pot seems a little bit off center. If your pots are off center, it'll be harder to trim. But with practice, you'll get uh, pots that are more centered and easier to trim over time. <clears throat> if you're trimming a flat bottom, you must then trim an undercut, okay? Before we do the un undercut when we were throwing, and that all that is is just knocking that little piece off right there, okay? So it casts a shadow. So as soon as you're done with that, if you're doing a flat bottom, put it down on the table and make sure that it doesn't wobble. If there's a little wobble, you can actually just tap it once away but if it's a big wobble you'd need to um, re-trim it um, then of course you need to make sure that you put the arms away in the case that they're supposed to go in um, and clean up all the trimmings 